you will fail. I think that's the thought for the day. You will fail, but things will get better. I've been posting a lot less recently, mainly because I had posted two videos that were a little bit personal. I don't usually post content that is very personal. I try to keep my you know private life guarded, especially on the internet. There's <laughs> there's there's all kinds of crazies out there. Not not the majority, but there are a lot of strange, shady characters in the world. And so I'm not one of those people that, you know, goes out there and, and talks about everything. But I just wanted to say first thank you for the messages. You know, this morning I had like six or seven and they were good. They were all fairly similar. Nothing, nothing dramatic this morning. No, no sensational stories or anything. But I think the message for the day is you will fail and things will get better. You know, I had some stuff happening that I can't really talk about and has nothing to do with YouTube. And things got better. And I thought, wow, you know, I didn't, I didn't really expect that. And the reason they got better gives me motivation to make videos like this and help other people because the reason things got better for me was because of the human connection. You know, I met some people who were really amazing and really great. And it made me think, yeah, yeah, this is good. And it just kind of changed everything. I don't know. And I just wanted to make this video to let you know that when you're out there and you're struggling and you're failing, you're trying to do something, maybe you're trying to get better at math, maybe you're trying to get in shape, maybe you're looking for a job, maybe everything is bad, everything is falling apart and you just feel like, Yes, I know I failed. What can I do? Sometimes, sometimes an unexpected source of inspiration will show up. And for me, I think that's exactly what it was. It was an unexpected source of inspiration. You know, I make videos. And my goal, my purpose, it's not my goal. My purpose is to inspire and educate, whether it be math, life. I want people to live the best possible lives they can because I believe that inside each one of you lives incredible powers. We all have incredible powers and I'm, I'm an eternal optimist. I believe that every single person on this earth is inherently good. I mean, there, there's good and bad in all people, but there's good in all people, okay? All people have some good. So yeah, sometimes, sometimes inspiration, it's cold out here, comes from an unlikely source. And so keep that in mind. And hopefully these videos serve as an inspiration to you. So don't give up, you know, when you're, when you're working on stuff and you feel like you've hit rock bottom, maybe you've been applying for jobs and, and you just can't get one. No, you can do it. You know, I've known people personal people, like people I've known in my life, not just emails, who have applied for over 50 jobs before they finally got a job. And then when they got the job, they hated it, right? <laughs> so, not a great story, but life went on and eventually they found something they liked, something that they really wanted to do. And you know, I don't have, I don't have all the answers. Nobody does, keep that in mind. But I do know this. You will fail. You will fail. It's part of life. In fact, if, if you don't fail, it's almost bad, you see. Because when you try to do something, 
I mean, what are the chances you're gonna succeed? Many times you will, but you're bound to fail at some point. If you never try, then you can never fail. So I think that failure is an integral part of success, right? Because th there's a big difference between thinking about doing something and not doing it, and then doing something and failing. Because when you do something and you fail, then you either realize it was a bad decision and you can write it off, and sometimes it is. Not always, but sometimes. It, that's, that's the hard part. Is it a bad decision or did you just, yeah. So when you try, you at least get some feedback, right? When you fail. When you don't try, then you'll never know if you could have succeeded. So what does that do? That creates regret. You know, the, the, they, they say that they ask people when they're near the end of their lives, people who are you know, in their 80s and 90s, say, what is, what is one thing that you wish you could have done different in your life? And many of the things they say are often about things that they didn't try to do. It's not like, oh, I tried this. They never say, oh, I tried to do this and I failed. It didn't work out. No one ever has that regret right? because they tried. You see, that's the thing. That's why failure is so important. Right? It's, it's a necessary part of life and it's hard. It, it's hard to keep that in mind when you're going through life because life is so hard. Right? I mean, every day of your life can be a challenge. You can wake up in the morning, you can go to work, someone can cut you off, you can get to work, your boss is a jerkoid. I just wanted to use the word jerkoid. <laughs> so, you know, you, ha you can have uh, some bad encounters with some jealous coworkers. Maybe your girlfriend or boyfriend breaks up with you. I mean, maybe you lose your job. Life is crazy, right? And so you fail constantly. And so just knowing that you will fail and it's a necessary part of success in some sense is inspiring. I like to look at people who have failed a lot, people who have done great things in the world, people who have done multiple things, I always think are more interesting than people who have done one thing because people who have done multiple things and succeeded at them have probably failed more than the person who does one thing. For example, I'll, I'll use this example here. This is one of my personal heroes, and you don't have to like him, but I think I think he's awesome. It's Arnold. <laughs> so I'm a big fan of Arnold Schwarzenegger. I think Arnold is a legend, and some people don't like him. That's fine. But I look up to Arnold because he's a guy who has done multiple things. Okay, so he was a bodybuilder, and yes, the part of that was genetics. The guy has great genetics, right? And then when he wanted to get into the movies. They told him he couldn't do it because he had this accent. They said, oh, your accent's too thick. You can't be in American movies. No one's, no one's gonna understand you. But Arnold didn't care, right? And then after making so many movies, which probably wasn't easy, he went into politics. Out of all the things to choose politics, that has to be like one of the most stressful things that you can be involved in because everyone has an opinion and a very strong one, right? A very, very strong one. So there's a man who really like lived his life and confronted failure in the face. He has this quote, which I have on a poster. It says, the worst thing I can be is the same as everybody else. I love that quote, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I think when I think of failure, I think of people like Arnold because he's a guy who was able to overcome failure. So whenever, whenever, whenever you're thinking about giving up, find your heroes, find someone. It doesn't have to be Arnold. It can be someone else who, who you look up to, someone who has persevered, someone who doesn't give up, you know? And that, that's why I don't give up. I mean, I don't know if I've persevered, I don't know if I'm successful, but I don't give up. You know, I have thousands of videos on the internet, thousands of videos, tons of books, tons of courses. My videos are all right, I mean, I'm not even like a great YouTuber. I'm just a guy, you know, I, my content, most of my content is not edited. Uh, it's because I'm, I'm just, I don't know. I, I just like just to make content. I'm not, I'm not big on editing. I'm, I don't have great editing skills. My thumbnails aren't very good, you know, but I don't give up, right? I don't give up. Just remember that, right? Don't give up, whatever you're doing. Anyways, I should end this. I have math courses. 
you can check those out if you want. And I have books too. And you, you can just check in the description. You can find links to all that stuff. But you will fail, my friends. You will fail. And it is necessary. Again, it is, it is necessary to fail. I know I said I was going to end this video, but I just... I don't know. I don't think people realize how important it is. And again, for me, recently, I found that that random source of inspiration from such an unexpected source. I mean, just not something that... I'm going to turn around here. Not something that I expected to happen. Not something that I was... You know, it's just, just unexpected. Unexpected sources of inspiration are always fun. And just keep that in mind when you're feeling down or, you know. Yeah, anyways. Take care, my friends.